previously on Balls. On the line now, and on Skype, if you're watching us at balls.co.za, you will see the uh, familiar looks of one Robert Hunter. How's it going, Rob? Robert? Well, and you? Yeah, very good. Thank you. Back yeah. at his, uh, his house in, uh, in so what part of Switzerland you are, are you in again? Uh, close to Lucerne, so central Switzerland. All right. Does that Lucerne you? Is food for thought. <laughs> Sorry, bad pun. Oh. Bad pun. Uh, can we just have a look at that shirt? It looks very interesting. What does it say there? The shirt I'm wearing. It's, it, was, it was a gift from my uh, from my daughter. So it's a Papa oh, it's Smurf shirt. <laughs> <laughs> it also looks like uh, the Indian One Day kit. Something like that. Social <laughs> thinking. Yeah. All right. Well, nice to chat to you again. Down to the final weekend of uh, of Tour de France. <laughs> Yeah. And uh, we've, uh, are they through the Pyrenees yet, or are they still Mark, sort of coming down the one side? Mark just Cavendish has won. Hold on, no, yeah, probably tell us that. Just one side. So they're through the Pyrenees. Uh, last or today was the last, uh, uh, the last flat stage basically, and it was the time trial. Then they're all in Paris. So the mountains come and gone already, and the tour's pretty much concluded. All right, and you yeah. sound like you have an unhappy family there at the moment. Don't move. No, it's, it's fine. It's it's the link's cool. Singing family. A singing family. Are oh, they singing? All right. Uh, so they've come off the uh, the Pyrenees now, so it's down to the, uh, basically heading towards the um, Champs-Élysées for the weekend. Uh, now, how does this, normally when they've come out of the mountains, whatever the overall standings now, pretty much, unless it's pretty uh, close, uh, we know who's going to win this thing, right? Yeah, yeah it's, a pretty much, uh, it's pretty much a done deal now. Um, I mean, Wiggins basically after yesterday has got the tour sewn up. Uh, oh. Yep. His closest rival is his own teammate Froome, who's two minutes down, and, uh, and yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's basically just a, a thing to get through tomorrow, which is the time trial, um, but Wiggins being the, the strongest time trialist in the race, shouldn't have a problem there, and yeah, I mean, it's it's basically Paris for him with the yellow jersey. What's the gap? Uh, it's two minutes on Froome. So it's still two minutes as they went into the Pyrenees, no change there? No changes at all, because obviously being teammates... Uh, Froome's not going to attack his uh, attack, or not attack his leader while he wasn't. No. Yeah, you see, we said, said Rob shouldn't have moved. Now they've gone and hung. He was running away from his children. There is. Uh, okay, Rob, just a little bit of a weak signal there on your Skype. So if you can maybe just move to an area where it's a little bit better. Can you, go, can you get me now? We did get that. Uh, two minutes uh, on Froome. So that's basically how it's going to finish when they come down the Champs Elysees, which is basically a, a winner's parade on the final day, right? Correct. Yeah, obviously, they have, uh, obviously they have a race on the last stage in, in Paris which is all just for sprinters um, I'm still here but yeah, so yeah but, but yeah it's, uh, it's pretty much for the GC guys they lost they lost uh, races basically tomorrow just to, to, go, to get to the time trial awesome stuff and I mean I think uh, obviously Bradley wins awesome stuff they're going to be going over the they're going to be over the moon over in uh, in England with that win but I think for uh, Chris Froome as well uh, as somebody was saying on Twitter yesterday, they were going to go one day if Chris Froome will be a, a legend as well, and uh, he's going to be, um, you know, one of the greats. I think just his performance this year sort of put him uh, on that doorstep if he's not there already, having performed this well in this year's tour. Well, it's huge. I mean, uh, for uh, you know, for Chris, you know, he's just got to prove how good he can be. I mean, I think this year a few people haven't seen haven't seen what he can do. Um, you know, he wasn't really allowed to go as fast as I think he can in the mountains. And uh, I think if it's anything to go by, I think the next or the years to come, he's definitely going to be one, you know, one of the best, uh, I'd say, one of the best Grand Tour riders that, uh, that they can be for sure. And, and you reckon, uh, he obviously I know he's got a contract, but you reckon he will be a Sky Rider for, um, for the next two to three years? Yeah, he's definitely going to be a sky rider for the next uh, for the next two years as well. And I mean, he's he's under contract, and uh, it, it's a big contract. So I don't think any other team's going to have the money just to buy him out of that. And uh, so so yeah, he's. Uh, I think he'll definitely after this year's performance in the tour, he'll definitely be given the space. And I don't see him riding for for Wiggins again in a hurry. All right, uh, Rob, what are your thoughts on Chris Froome disrespecting Brad Wiggins in the seventeenth stage, calling him up, telling him basically to get a move on? Well, I, I don't think it's disrespecting him. I mean, Wiggins is... Sorry, give me one second. You can get away from these girls. Girls, stop now, please. <laughs> <laughs> and there, a little parenting moment on Balls Visual Radio from Robert Forcing Hunter. some discipline. Discipline. Sorry, Rob, carry on. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I was just basically saying that uh, I don't think he was trying to disrespect him at all. I think it was more of a thing where... Um, Chris just really knows his job he tries to do it to his best and I think there was a moment where 
you know, they'd spoken and uh, Wiggins was the one who said to him, let's ride. And he was the one who actually forced the pace initially. Mm. Chris then went past him to the front, kept the same speed and Wiggins couldn't follow. Um, so I, it wasn't a thing of, of trying to disrespect him, showing that, listen, I'm stronger than you. Um, uh, if he was trying to do that, I think he would have ridden away. I think he was just really trying to say, hey, listen, we've got a small gap on, on anybody who's third in classification. Let's keep it. Mm. I wonder if the Skype's going to stay much longer uh -uh. now that it's gone. gone. Yeah. Do you want to go right. find it? Uh, no, no, it's cool. I think we kind of got the gist of what, mm. uh, what right there is back again. Sorry, Rob, you, you hung a little bit there again. Uh, just finish what you were saying there. I'll be back there. Yeah, no, you got your back. Yeah, so I was just basically saying it's. I don't think it was a disrespectful thing. I was just basically through him trying to get his, his team captain to get to the last two kilometers, saying, listen, the tour's almost over, you know, hanging there for two Ks, and then it's pretty much, uh, you know, you've got your yellow jersey all the way to Paris. Because some people were saying that it devalues Wiggins' victory, but listening to what you've just said now, it doesn't sound like you'd agree with that. No, I mean, people can say what they like. I mean, uh, everybody does know that Chris Room was the strongest climber in the race. You can't say that without uh, Wiggins, he would have won the race because, you know, with all the pressures of being a team captain, a lot of things can change. Also, Chris hasn't proved to be the strongest time, time trial in the race, and that all right we uh yeah we've got a really dodgy skype signal here rob we're gonna have to uh leave it there but uh and it's frozen again it froze just now on a really bad place there when uh rob's face was um I, oh, we, anyway if you're watching our visual side you would have seen that uh, face. yeah rob uh, we're gonna have to leave it there but i uh, i think we have got you back but the signal's breaking up so uh we okay. appreciate you chatting to us during the tour uh what's next for you very quickly well, I'm at home for the next two weeks, and then uh, straight after that, I hopefully go race in Holland, see if the back's okay, and then from there, slowly, uh, I've got two or three races thereafter, and then it's season over pretty much for me. All right. Well, uh, maybe we'll catch up with you while in Holland. You can show us around there, see what uh, cycling conditions are like on the Excellent. dikes. Awesome stuff. Sounds good. Thanks, Thanks, Rob. Thanks. All don't, the best. Appreciate hey, all your uh, what? Rob, don't forget those photos, eh? Which ones? He's going to have a photo on a massive dike. I'll send you, don't worry. Oh, I'll yes. Be there, I'll be there in two weeks, I'll send you some big dikes. Yeah, send thanks. us some pictures <laughs> of you on, on dikes, big, eh? big dikes. There we go. <laughs> Rob Hunter from Switzerland. Thanks a lot, buddy. Love to the family. Rob Hunter joining us here. We the best on three. One, two, three. We, we the best. best. 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Mondays to Fridays live on balls.co.za. Balls.co.za.